Good morning, YouTubes. Out here in the uh, in the shop again with the V85. Uh, today we are going to be putting on some engine guards or crash guards or whatever you want to call them. I've got a set of GBs. Um, just personal choice, really. You can go with just about any any of the crash guards you want. Uh, of course, if y'all have ever ordered anything from Otoguzi, you know, they could be here in a couple weeks, could be here in a few months, don't know. So I went with GVs just because the crash guards from Otoguzi were on back order. That's that's about what it goes down to, and, and they really look nice. So we're going to put them on today. All right, before we get started, I want to give a big shout out to uh, Gateway Cycles. Uh, in case you didn't know, they were a, uh, uh, a nice sponsor at... Uh, last week's rally, Moto Guzzi rally, and especially to Carl, brought out, oh geez, I don't know, nine or ten bikes. I uh, had, had like four or five of them there that you go out and take out for a test drive and kind of get a feel for them. Uh, he doesn't have to bring them out, but he does. And uh, all, all you guys down there at Gateway, uh, Nolan, parts guy, uh, always hooks me up gets me gets me a great deal and gets my parts in just as quick as you can I also want to uh, give a big thank you to, to Cody he's the uh, service manager down there and we went ahead and got him all loaded up when he came out on a Sunday on his day off to pick all the bikes up and, and take them back and uh, and Derek uh, man if you guys any, any y'all out there that uh, that need to buy a bike or uh, get taken care of, Derek's your man, go see him. He's, he's a good guy down there too. So uh, with that out of the way, we'll go ahead and get started on these, uh, these new engine guards or crash guards, whatever you want to call them. All right, here we are. So we're gonna go ahead and start on the left side, which would be like the driver's side of a car, whatever you want to call it here. And GV sends out a whole bunch of really interesting, crazy brackets that are, they go all over. If I can get in here on this, let me, uh, let me see. So right in there, I just popped this little plastic cap off of there. And that's actually a threaded hole. The brackets that they send are all designed to thread into those little holes. We're going to go ahead and start with this one back here, if I can get it in, which I can't. Alright, well, if you have the fingers of a four-year-old, this would work fantastic. With the rest of us, you'll fight it a little bit. Alright, I think I got it started. Oh. Let me show you what we got. And hopefully it's not upside down. So you can see where I've got it started in there. And you've got this uh, fuel line here that is completely right in the way. All right, so I've got it in. I've got it finger-ish tight, and I'm gonna leave it loose so that I've got room to, a uh, little room to wiggle when it comes time to put the, the bar on. We're gonna go ahead and put another mount up on the front here, and then we'll start getting this put on. All right, here we are up here at the front by the horn, and again, there are more of those little bitty caps in there. I'm gonna try and keep my big head out of the way. Let's see. No, this ain't gonna work out. No, that's just right in the way. Let's see. We'll just... Okay, I got it out. And again, another one of these little bitty plastic plug just plugs up a hole and 
essentially you're going to take this, wow, well, that's going to be tight too. Let's try something like this. See if you guys can even still see that. Not very well. So this is not going to work with the horn there. All right. So just to make things a little bit easier, I am going to take off the horn. It's hard for me to tell what angle it's at. Oh, there it goes. Okay. I think. Either that or I just cross-threaded it. Which... Come in on the other side with the the uh, ratchet and the extension. Oh yeah, because that's yeah, that's nice and tight in there. All right, Let's see if we can. Oh yeah, that's way gooder. And I'm leaving that just snug. I'm not, not tightening it up too awfully much yet, so I've got a little bit of movement. And the next thing's gonna be this bolt up inside of here. It's gonna have to come out. And so far, all of these have been a 13 millimeter. work on starting to put the actual uh, crash bar on now so let's go up here see if we can thread that in okay got one threaded in there and this comes with these uh, these little solid plug spacers that have to go in Right there. They go in right there so that you can drop them straight down into the pan to where you can't get them. Fantastic. Alright, so anyway, so these little plugs go in, followed with these longer bolts. Okay, and then I've got the one on the back side. Let's see, and because I've left all these loose, I can get them to where they kind of line up. All right. Okay, so I guess that's what it's going to look like. Let's get to, uh, let's go ahead and start tightening all these up. All right. Now, of course, we wouldn't be a 13 millimeter anymore. Nope, we will have to switch to a 17. when you're tightening these that your wrench makes a nice grinding sound on your exhaust pipe when you do it. OK. 
Okay. Let's see if I can't get in there in this other one. Not without the other extension, which you inevitably leave on the other side of the bike. I don't know if I can get in now. All right. Now let's tighten the final bolt up over here. All right. So final bolt over here. Gonna be this one that's on the fuel line. Yeah. Oh, I can almost get in on that. Yeah, I have to use a wrench. One down, one to go. All right, so now we've got some weird little bracket here for the brakes, evidently. This takes a four, oh wow, four millimeter Allen. I won't be honest with you, looking at the instructions to do this, I'm not real positive exactly what they're asking for here. Instructions have been fairly decent so far up until this point. But maybe, uh, maybe seeing it will make a little bit more sense. I don't know. I think we're replacing this bracket. That's what it looks like. So this is your stock bracket. I don't know if y'all can see that here. And this is the bracket that GV sends. So we're gonna give this a whirl. And hopefully this is what they're wanting. Well, maybe if I can Obviously missed the hole on that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right, looks like that's all we're doing here is just pulling this this new bracket so that it gets this the master cylinder and everything further away let's see yeah so that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be uh, you reuse all the same bolts same hardware and it's also it keeps your reservoir in, you know, in a straight up and down, you know, kind of plumb position. So, yeah, this is not bad. This is uh, this is way better than what it looked like. 
in the instructions. So it's just a bracket to get it away because we have another one of these little plastic tabs right here that have to be pulled that's a threaded hole. All right, so continuing on, now that we've got our new bracket that stands away our brake cylinder here a little bit, we've got another one of these little plastic caps that pops out and just covers a threaded hole. And like the other side, we've got a bracket. Uh, this one designed a tad different. I hope that's the way it goes because I have no idea. It kind of looks that way in the picture, but we'll give it a whirl. If it's wrong, I'll blame somebody else. All right, and again, I'm leaving all these loose so that there's plenty of room for adjustment here later. All right, here we are back at the front. We got the same type of little, another little plug again. And in the instructions on this, it does not say anything about remove the horn. Uh, I don't know why, because my normal size fingers, for being a human, don't fit in there with the horn on. So, let's see if we can't uh, do a little bit better job on this one, getting it in. Well, yeah. I know. side snug it in. Okay, and again, we're leaving it loose so that uh, we can get into it and uh, make some final adjustments. Now let's go ahead and take out our engine mounting bolt, which is still a 13. I don't know why I've changed it yet. Starting the bolt, I'm gonna put that on, and then take it back out because obviously that's not gonna fit. All right. Okay, let's do this. Nope. Well, that is just, I can't even begin to describe how handy that is. Okay, well, at least it fits. Now let's give this a whirl. Again, that is a 17 millimeter. Well, the head of it's a 17 millimeter. Oh, too tight. Give her a little slack here. So we still have our rear bolt here to put on. All right, so now I've still got my rear bracket back here loose. Wow, that would be a lot easier to leave all this off put this on and then reattach that afterwards. 
Hmm. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, we'll, uh, we'll take this back off. Try and give ourselves a little bit of room here. Like it was meant to go there. All right, so at least try and snug them up. Again, one of those areas where I just really can't get my fingers in there very well. So. Wow. And, uh, one of those little things that you find out about later on in, in this video here is a ratchet wrench would be awfully, awfully handy right now. And it's not that I don't have any. I've got a whole set of ratchet wrenches. I've got a 13 millimeter ratchet wrench. Somebody's just too lazy to get up and get it. So we're going to do it this way. And snug and tighten these up. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Let's try and get all this back together. I feel like I'm getting somewhere. May not be the right place, but I'm getting somewhere. still works. All right, so now we'll go ahead and finish tightening up the rest of this here. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Now we're going to put the thing on here that makes the noise that goes beep beep. If I can get back to it. Okay, now, these all come with these little plastic guards that go on there. So let's get those put on and be done with this. All right, so we got these little plasticky cover things that uh, cover up all these little bolts, make them all pretty again, I guess. I'm gonna put them on. Or we can get to them. Yep, probably should have put these little plastic caps on back when I still had all that off. Again, helpful information to know prior to doing this. Leave that damn, leave your, your, can you even see this? So this 
just gets in the way of everything when you're doing this. So I'd suggest when you take that off, putting the bracket and all that on, do that last. Because this, every time I go to do something, now this is in the way. So putting these little plastic caps on, it's going to be... Yeah, well, I'll just drop that one in behind. Great. Mm. All right. For the final step, we're going to put these little, I don't know, free advertisement pieces on, I reckon. I don't, I'm not real sure what these are, uh, what they're meant for, other than... To show off that you spent way too much money on a couple of bent metal pipes but maybe it uh when you crash it'll keep the bars from getting scratched up and just scratch up the pretty plastic uh spoiler alert i don't plan on testing it Okay, well, and there we go, GV crash guards. Okay, there's one on there, and now let's just go put another one on this side. So, and there we are. And now, let's uh, for the final step, we're gonna put these little, I don't know, free advertisement pieces on. I reckon I don't, I'm not real sure what these are, uh, what they're meant for, other than to show off that you spent way too much money on a couple of bent metal pipes but maybe it uh when you crash it'll keep the bars from getting scratched up and just scratch up the pretty plastic uh spoiler alert i don't plan on testing it Okay, well, and there we go, GV crash guards. All right, y'all, so another garage day project, getting the uh, GV crash guards on there. I'm trying to do a little walk around here, it's, you know, might be a little difficult to see these, but all in all, they don't look bad. They don't really stick out, you know, very far. I don't know if you can see those there. Let's make sure they don't make any noise.
All right, so there we go. We got the uh, we got the new crash guards on by GV. Uh, not that hard to put on. The instructions mm, not fantastic, but they're not awful. Uh, with a little kind of pre-planning and pre-looking, it, it goes together pretty easy. And you know, with looking at the video, of course, you saw there was a few things that. Uh, you know, would have been nice in the instructions to know, like that uh, uh, master cylinder bracket. And take that thing off and leave it off till you're done. And then put it back on, give you just a little bit more room. Also, the horn. Uh, it doesn't say anything about removing the horn. I, I don't know how you're going to get your fingers in there with the horn there. So, it's just easy to take it off. One 10, 10 millimeter bolt, and, and it's out of the way. Other than that, it went real smooth. Uh, there's no torque specs on any of it. So, I mean, when it come down to it, I just, you know, give it a couple of duggas and uh, call it good, I guess. But, uh, I don't know, all in all, I think it turned out good. Uh, let me know how you like it in the comments down there. And no, I will not be trying to test it on video to see how well they work and protect my engine. I'm not dropping my bike just for YouTubes. But, Hopefully we won't do it <laughs> in spite of YouTube either. Anyway, all right. Well, I hope you liked the video. Uh, like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.